in vitro diagnostic technology is changing our lives. However, most techniques are manually performed at laboratories. In Nickerland, we are able to automate those biological processes to build sample in, answer out diagnostic devices, something equivalent to our capsule based coffee machines at our homes. Capsule in, press a button, and fresh coffee out. Many sequencing lab processes are subject to EV improved with automation, such as reagent mixing, incubation, washing, elution, shortening time to result and avoiding human error, therefore improving efficiency. Following the example of our coffee machine, in our case, our capsules are microfluidic chips with herring bones, chambers for DNA amplification or incubation, and integrated valves. The instrument consists of a temperature regulation system and pressure-based system to control fluidics direction and flow rate, a valve actuator to control fluidics direction within a chip, a photonic detection system, and a program whether you can run a predefined experiment or define a new one to carry out rolling circle amplification instead of PCR. Also, it is possible to keep reagents refrigerated at 4 degrees Celsius. This device has been developed under can do a cancer development monitor funded by the FP7 program. The goal in can do is to develop a lab on a chip instrument to identify pancreatic circulating tumor cells using Raman spectroscopy to enumerate them and a mass sender interferometer for level-free molecular mutation detection.